good morning everyone we're back at the, the Liber RSS club um so today we're going to talk about ggplot2 themes and actually how to build a theme so we'll go over a few packages uh, basically bbplot gg themes and theme park so i have here the notes as uh, as usual um and i have them already open <clears throat> if you want to actually run some commands uh, these are the packages you would need to install for today so <clears throat> On a recent class that I taught, um, 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 over here, uh, recent class, uh, I was teaching about like the introduction to ggplot, um, and um, I mentioned this package called bbplot. is is a package that was developed by the BBC team. BBC is uh, this uh, uh, news um, um, from group, news group from the UK. Um, and they make a lot of great plots. And they have this like, cookbook over here um, where they um, illustrate a little bit like what are their designs uh, for their plots and things like that. They try to show as little information as possible to make sure people uh, are not confused and get the main point of the plot. Um, so they made a, a theme package. Um, which is called bbplot. And it has this function bbstyle, which um, uh, you can use, for example, over here uh, to change this like, default looking plot from ggplot into this bbc style uh, plot. <clears throat> and uh, the bbc uses a lot, for example, the title and subtitles to add information that uh, would otherwise be contained on the y and x axis uh, because the, those axes are not shown. Um, so that's, um, I mean, this is just a, a brief example of what bbplot can do. Uh, the, um, uh, the full book over here uh, explains a lot more plots in detail. Um, but in the end, this is like a package that has a theme function on it, a ggplot2 theme. Um, there's also the theme park package that is also available on GitHub by Matthew B. Jane and other contributors. Um, and it has, for example, the theme Barbie um, um, over here that uh, makes um, all of the font pink uh, and changes also, sorry, yeah, it changes uh, everything to pink and then also changes the font. Um, I don't remember what font it is this one over here. Um, it also has, for example, the theme Oppenheimer that makes everything black and it's really hard to read anything here, but uh, I guess that's maybe a bit of the point of that theme. Um, um, and another one is the GG themes package, uh, which um, if we open this link over here, has a bunch of different theme functions. Um, for example, there's one to make plots look like the, the Economist. Um, um, there's a lot of people at, um, at Hopkins School of Public Health that use data. So if you wanted it, you could make things look like the like you actually made a mistake instead of R, if, you, if that's what you wanted to. Um, um, oh. um, so um, really like um, um, themes in um, in, um, in ggplot are a great way of conf um, styling your plots, customizing them to a way that you would like them to look. Um, and um, they're fairly easy to use. So those are like the, um, the recent themes that I talked about in my class, um, but there's uh, many other themes out there. Uh, a lot of times you can just Google a keyword of interest plus like ggplot2 plus theme and you'll get, um, you'll get a result uh, of interest. There's also some official themes on the ggplot2 package. Um, uh, so uh, this is what they're called complete themes. Um, um, uh, and so they control like basically everything. Um, and so some of the ones that we've used a lot is the team black and white. Um, uh, that's one that uh, makes plots look a little bit more like a base R. Um, but there's uh, quite a few other ones. Uh, there's a theme minimal, uh, for example, that has this very few things. Um, so here are some examples of how they look like. Um, um, and like, for example, I don't know, 
the theme dark over here puts everything on a dark gray background. Uh, although like the rest of it is still like, on a white background. So it's, it can look a bit weird if you're presenting in dark mode. Um, um, that's my, uh, but of course, um, I mean, people that maybe use the dark mode uh, in presentations can maybe weigh in a bit on like what's their favorite theme uh, for that. But in any case, there's a lot of there's a lot of themes that already come in ggplot too, um, and um, um, you can see over here like all the variations. Um, so there's a lot of options, uh, a lot of things we can control, and the way we can control them is if we look at um, all of the components of a theme. Uh, when you define a theme function, there's a ton of arguments. Um, you know. Um, you can uh, scroll down for a lot. Um, and so for example, you can say like, where do you would like to put the legend or what direction you want it to have. You want it to have it a box or not, um, a bunch of things. Like what is a background for the panel, right? Uh, we saw some backgrounds that had like uh, panel backgrounds that were dark, uh, like, like black, some of them were light, etc. So there's a ton of options over here to control. Um, and um, the point of today is not to go and, uh, and understand all of these options. Um, um, it's just to know where, where they're documented. And so here's a few examples of like, you wanna make the, the relative size of, uh, of the plot title to be twice as big as it normally is. Uh, this is how you would do it. And so this is nice because basically what you're saying is you're you're setting a, a multiplier for the title size, um, such that if you change the base size later, if a user changes that base size, the the title font size will um, automatically be updated too. Um, uh, if you set it to a specific value, then um, then if people change the base size, it, it won't affect um, the title. Um, as well as much. Okay, so uh, this is just an overview of like what are all the things you could do. And so to actually make a theme, um, I was looking around and I found uh, three different websites that explain a bit like how to make custom themes. So this first one, first one is by uh, Maddie Pickens, um, username mclaire19. Um, 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 and so um, they had a motivation to make a specific theme. Um, this is like the base R plot that we have uh, with some data in this case from the UN. Um, and they wanted to make it look nicer. Um, uh, so um, what they did over here is um, uh, they made a little function that has no arguments um, where they define the font that they're interested in. But then they also say like, okay, I'm gonna build on top of an existing theme. Um, and the way you can do that is there's this very particular operator called the replace operator. It has this very um, like complex looking syntax where it's like the percent symbol plus the word replace and then another time the represent symbol. And so at this point, you're able to basically reuse an existing theme and just change the specific parts of it. So uh, in this case, uh, Marie uh, wanted to remove the major grid lines, the minor grid lines, the X ticks, um, uh, and like set the font, the specific, like in bold, uh, increase the size, et cetera, uh, change where it's aligned. Uh, so she changed a lot of like the text for the, the title, the subtitle, the caption, um, and then also the accesses for the title text and, and X axis. Um, so once she made that little function, now she could use it um, and get this and result where like she has the same plot as before, plus her new function theme GPPR um, and, and gets um, a plot that uh, that looks like the way she, she wanted it to look. Um, cool. Um, 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 uh, um, okay. So um, um, there were some other things that she had to do. Uh, for example, she really wanted to add a logo. So at that point, you can't 
she did the logo part outside of ggplot too uh, with a green package um, um and then also change the colors um um uh, with like the the regular options in like for example in this case in geom bar um, um cool um so that's how she she made a, a theme uh, to uh, to make the plot that she wanted look like the the way she wanted it to look. Um, um, uh, so that's awesome. Um, and basically, uh, she didn't have to start from scratch. She used the minimal theme and just replaced a, a few elements of it that, that she didn't like. The next one that I found is uh, by username Emmanuel. Um, LAF, um, um, and so this is a very similar situation, but in this case, um, the, this person is making a function called blue theme, where inside of it they're calling the theme function from ggplot2, um, and here they're setting a few different options of interest, um, and um, then they can use their blue theme later on. Um, um, so in this case, they're not using the replace operator. They're um, just using the theme um, function. Um, so I'm not sure like how to decide like when like one approach is simpler than the other one, um, but they both work. Um, um, cool. Um, and that's basically the uh, the the contents of 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 this uh, post over here. Uh, by Emanuela uh, or Claro. Um, so a lot of times you might think like, well, making a theme might be really complicated, but actually um, it's, um, if there's only a few things you wanna change uh, in the theme, it's uh, fairly fast to do so. Um, you just need to know like, what are the, what are all the options over here on the theme function that control the things you would like to change? Um, um, the last one is by uh, Roger Pang, who used to be um, a professor at Hopkins by Statistics. Now I think he's a professor at uh, UT Austin, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, and so this is a bit more like, uh, it goes a little bit more in detail, uh, but it's the same point of like, okay, you could use here, for example, the theme classic, one of the various uh, ggplot2 themes. Um, and he talks about now about uh, the actual object uh, of a uh, the, of a theme um, object. Um, um, so like ggplot has these objects that are uh, both of type gg from uh, the ggplot2 package, but also of class theme. Um, 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 He's using here, for example, the theme set. That's a function you could use if you want to set the theme for all of the of your upcoming plots. Um, um, and um, then says like, okay, um, he starts again with um, the base, um, the black and white theme. Then uses um, the the plus operator from ggplot to add a specific changes to that theme. Um, so this is a sec another way of, of, of making a, a new theme um, um, where um, it's similar, I guess, to that replace syntax, but in this case, um, uh, you're only changing uh, like one or two things from, from a default theme. Um, cool. Um, so uh, once you have that, uh, uh, in this case, he has his new theme. Um, you can call it over here at the end. Um, um, there's something else that is he talks about over here, which is complete themes. Um, um, and so that's a logical vector that tells ggplot2 some information about your themes. Um, 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 and um, I think in general, you would like to make a complete themes. Um, and the best way to make a complete theme is to start from one, uh, which is why I included over here the, the, the link to the complete themes from ggplot2. Um, um, basically that, you know, at this point, then you have all uh, default values for everything. 
um, an incomplete team doesn't have that. Um, cool. So, um, yeah, that's um, what I wanted to show today. And um, uh, I think uh, um, if anyone wants to make a, a, a Libre ggplot2 team, all right, uh, the way I would do it is uh, we go to the Libre website. Um, um, you can use different tools to extract like colors that are frequently used in G on the Libre website, like uh, uh, this uh, purple tone, this green tone, it's, uh, the red tone. Um, if you want to extract some of the default colors um, that are used in, in a lot of the um, uh, Libre Institute um, um, communication. Um, um, uh, you might even want to try to um, use some of the same fonts uh, if you wanted to. Um, and um, I would also encourage you, if you're if you're interested in making a theme package, uh, we can look over here at um, the theme park um, and look at some of the contents of it, see how it was made. Cool. Um, yeah. Um, are there any questions or any any comments? All right. Um, yeah, so that's basically um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, here we can see like the Barbie theme where like you're just defining some colors uh, that they want to use. So they define their the Barbie theme, uh, which um, is using the uh, the theme function. Um, that's all he's really doing. And then they also define a few um, things like the scale fill Barbie and scale color Barbie uh, with the default colors that, that they would like to have. Um, yeah. So it's not a lot of our code if you want to make a, a theme. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to stop the recording then. <laughs>